Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Come on, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Today we are reading about Christ, the light of the world. That's in John chapter 8, and we're starting at verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. One more time. I'm going to just read with the red, Jesus. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And if you're new to the channel, we read things three times. This is so important. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I can stop right there. Follow Jesus, he is the light. Follow Jesus, he is the light. Follow God. Get on a Jesus train and follow Jesus. If you're not following Jesus, shall not walk in darkness. Jesus is the light. Jesus is where you want to be. You want to be in the light, not in the darkness. I know some people celebrate Halloween. Um, we don't celebrate Halloween because that's the devil's day. But everybody does what everybody does. But uh, I don't celebrate it. I mean, I feel that once you, you know, put up put up different um, Halloween things that's in the house, then you bring those spirits. And anything of the devil is demonic. He tries to take your mind. He tries to take your your soul he tries to do it monday through friday now he got a, a specific day he can really go haywire in these young kids minds and it's just mind-blowing but i'm not telling you what to do um i follow jesus and i try my hardest to do things the right way and i'm, I'm my kids know what our kids know about um they know about all the holiday holla excuse me, all the holidays. And um, I told him, like, we don't celebrate Halloween. We don't believe in putting on costumes um, over a costume. Like, you got a costume that you wear every single day, and then you're putting something over a costume. So the devil has double, double the time and double the, the, what is it? He has double the power to take your mind or put negative things in these kids' minds. But I don't know if they watching stuff on YouTube or on these social media platforms. They watching all these games and apps. Their minds is already corrupted what's in the world. Now the devil has a special holiday. I, I We taught our kids we don't celebrate Halloween. We do other um, things. Like we'll play bingo just like a regular night. We'll do bingo. We'll play Uno. We don't just... We don't... I prefer not to, I explain to them about the holiday. Um, we're not doing trunk or treat, none of that stuff. When at the school, they put like, um, you can get snacks and stuff from the, uh, you know, they dress up into costumes and they get stuff from the people donating candy and stuff out of their trunk and stuff. I just don't, um, this is just me. I just don't, it's just... It's just so much in this world that we got to be teaching our kids, not teaching them about um, it could be something inside your candy. That's stuff that we need to be teaching them. Even on top of that, like kids are getting bullied and kids are not speaking up. Parents are not talking to their kids about what's going on every single day. It's just so much going on. That's why kids are shelling up, not talking. And it's, you know, that's not... That's not normal. A kid's not talking. It's just like they need to, you know, 
you know, kids need to talk. And it's like when they don't talk, everything gets bowed up inside of them and they get angry and they get raged. But when it's, when it's time for them to talk, they're frustrated because it's like now I'm releasing it and I'm more frustrated that I have to get it out. So it's just something else that I try to do better with teaching them. You know, but we don't celebrate Halloween. Halloween. Um, it's just to me, it's just the devil's day. It's just another day. All of these Googling goblins, negative things. You got costumes that got eye pops out. But you got younger baby kids that's looking at this. That's growing up seeing this stuff. It's just, that's just me. I just, I just continue to pray for it. You know, I know kids get older and they make their decisions. But what you ground in them, um, prayfully they, you know, pick it up. You grounded them. We don't celebrate this, that, and the third. And just be real open and why be really open with them. Explain to them. We don't celebrate this because it's demon possessed. There's different demons that come up. And um, these costumes is not like positive. You can wear like a ballerina. But then you got somebody across the street that's Jason. And then you got somebody... That's a thriller. But you got babies watching this. Babies can have nightmares. Babies, it's just like they're so exposed to so much. It's just heartfelt. This is why I just like try to stay in my lane and just pray over. Pray over these babies and stuff that they see. Because we don't realize how it impacts them when they're young. They seeing this negative thing. So you're wondering why they're screaming. You're wondering why... They're not um, saying much or they're just shelled in. It's so much negative stuff that's there that they can't even, you know, process to release it because it's just like negative stuff from Halloween. But, yeah, that's why I just stay in my little lane. And it says, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. And I just feel like the today's the devil's day. And it's like, I just feel like we're all lost. People are lost. They're walking in the devil. And darkness is things that's of the devil. You know, we all have different beliefs. We all think, th we all think things differently. But, you know, what's right is right and wrong is wrong. And I just feel like, you know, they're not going to celebrate it. And they're going to know the reason why. Because so many demonic negative things come up in their minds where they're sleeping to try to take their minds, to try to have them eat so much candy. You never know. You got to go through every single piece of candy in their bag. You know how people are getting smart with candy? They're like, re they getting machines to rewrap this candy up and then trying to resell it. To I mean, not resell it. Trying to re-give it to kids and stuff like that. Some people don't have kids, so they just prey on kids it's just so much negative stuff in this world it's just so sad that's why i just pray over all these babies they see so much they see so much and then they don't talk about it so it's so good to talk to our kids i don't care age i i don't you know talk the younger ones when they was younger abc's one two three spanish all of that stuff kids are never too young to learn spanish Never too long, never too young to learn anything because they're sponges. I just feel like, you know, they need to learn it now because as they get older, they're going to need to learn more stuff. So I think it's never too, it's never too early to teach a child because I taught, um, I taught our children Spanish, all of that stuff when they was younger and now they're on a gifted list. So it's just like, it's just amazing what you teach your children. They do pick it up. All kids are smart. All kids are smart. We just got to be consistent in teaching them and consisting them, consist, being consistent. Which is the more kids see it, the more they can remember it. You get little um, index cards and put like timetable on. That's what I'm doing today to refresh their memory with their timetables. Um... They're not even, one's not even in second. They're just young, under um, second grade. And they know their timetables. And it's like, I'm going to continue to teach them. 
So when they get in third and fourth and second and first grade, they can, they'll know it. So it's just like kids are never too young to learn. Never too young to learn. If you want to teach them, teach them. Because they, I'd rather them pick it up now so when they get into the grade, you could teach them the next grade. Or just continue to teach them. I have so many videos on the channel. I'm on YouTube. Uh, what is it? YouTube and Facebook and YouTube, Facebook, and um, TikTok. TikTok is Pat Elliott. Um, YouTube is Shop, Sizzle, S-I-Z-Z-L-A, Grow and Learn. I have so many videos of educational things, how I taught the kids. So it's never too early to teach kids. I don't know. It's no, it's not, it's not too early. So, um, yeah, I don't went off subject. But it just said in this word, I am the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness. I mean, you, you follow God and you know what's right and you know what's wrong. But there are consequences for all our actions. The consequences for my actions when I'm not loving and caring to how I'm talking. Or loving and caring about treating anything that God created nice. So we just got to be mindful how we talk to everybody. So I would just just be mindful of things. But um, that's my take on October 31st. I just pray harder on this day because I see so many killings, so many shootings all over the news. So many people bringing bad candy to school. It just breaks my heart that these innocent babies got to see this devil demonic stuff. It's just heartfelt. It just makes me pray harder than when I'm praying. Because it just doesn't make any sense. Babies see so many things when they're young. And then you wonder why when they get older, they're not talking. And then they're trying to go out and hurt somebody. Because of all of the stuff that they've seen growing up. Everything they see when they grow up, they hold it in. They figure out a way to remember it. And then you get older and it's like, oh, well, you put this in my head and... Now I'm this way, that way. Kids remember stuff. So that's my take on it. Um, I never could adjust to dressing our kids up. And say any even if you try to do happy things, you can dress them up in Batman and Robin or something. But when you go trick-or-treating, you're going to see people that has evil things on. It's not a happy day. Halloween is not a happy day. So it's just. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. But I'm going to try to walk in the light. I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness. But shall have the light of life. So. I don't know. But. I say it in his word. I didn't make this stuff up. We're in John chapter 8 verses. Well, yeah, so it says, but you guys have a blessed day and know that Jesus loves you and I love you too. Teach them babies everything they need to know because they're not, they're not too young to learn. There's no such thing as a child is too, too young to learn anything. Every day, teach our child something different. I love you guys. Have a blessed day.